value of a kindly quarter. What courses is little consolation when we have Captain of the Kingdom, for three pictures and one cheer for the Captain of the Kingdom. 
Now give three cheers. I'll lead the way. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hooray! Because an accident of birth has placed you above them and then below you. 
I am the last person to insult the British sailor, Sir Joseph. You are the last person who did, Captain Corcoran. <laughs> now, desire that remarkably fine seaman to step forward. Uh, no, no, not that one. Back again. <laughs> the splendid seaman. Brave Ragstraw, three paces to the front. March! Halt! If what? I don't think I follow you, Sir Joseph. If you please. Oh, yes. If you please. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Are an extremely fine fellow. <laughs> yes, you are. Mm. <coughs> and a first rate sea, but I'll be back. There's not a smarter topman in the Navy, Your Honor. Though I say it, who shouldn't? No, 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 not at all. Proper self respect, nothing more. Mm. Can you dance our horn <laughs> uh, No, Your Honor. Oh, well, that's a pity. I shall have to teach you one. This evening, after dinner, <laughs> in my quarters. <laughs> now tell me, don't be afraid, how does your captain treat you, eh? <laughs> A better captain doesn't walk the deck, Your Honour. Aye, aye, aye! Good, good, that's good. I'd like to hear you speak well of your commanding officer. I dare say he don't deserve it. Can you say? I can humble it to you, Your Honor. Then have this at your leisure. It is a song that I have composed for use of the Royal Navy, and it is designed to encourage independence of thought and action in the lower <coughs> branches of the service, and to teach the principle that a British sailor is any man's equal, excepting mine, of course. <laughs> now, uh, Captain Corcoran, uh, a word with you in your cabin on a tender and sentimental subject. Aye, aye, Sir Joseph. Boatswain, in commemoration of this joyous occasion, ensure that extra grog is served to the entire ship's company at seven bells. Beg pardon, if what, Your Honour? I don't think I follow you. If you please, Your Honour. What? Perfectly right. If you please. If you please. <laughs> For I hold that on the seas, the expression, if you please, <coughs> in particular the gentleman the tone in class. And so do his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And so do his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. His sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And his cousins and his aunts. Perhaps it will bring this 
here, miserable creature, to a proper state of mind.
So, you forget the disparity in our ranks. I forget nothing, haughty lady. I love you desperately. My life is in your hands. I lay it at your feet. Give me hope, and, and what I lack in education and polite accomplishments, that I will endeavour to acquire. Drive me to despair, and in death alone I shall look for consolation. I am proud and cannot stoop to implore. I have spoken, and I wait your word. You shall not wait long. Your proper love I haughtily reject. Now go, sir, and learn to cast your eye on some village maid in your own poor rank. They should be lowered before your captain's daughter.
a lady, she ho ho. You know they turn us up the way. She's fine to all I told you. So. Shall we submit? Remember, she's your gallant captain's daughter. 
and you the meanest slave that crawls the water.
Valentine's Day. I've not seen this one before. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's totally like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
man, how are you? Hi. 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 Hi.
worn out garments grown to patches, only count the chick that hatches, men are grown up cats she catches. Yes, I know that so.
outcome of that with little appearance. Your questions were simply unanswerable. That book, it is one of the happiest characteristics of this most glorious country that official utterances are invariably regarded as unanswerable. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> At last, my fondest hopes are to be realized. My daughter is to be married to a cabinet minister. The prospect is simply in Elysium. Captain Dick! Oh, oh, don't shirk me, Captain. I know my name's again me, and I'm unpleasant to look at. Yes. Brian, as bad as I seem. What would you with me? I've come to give you fair warning. Oh, do you plan to be the Navy? <laughs> no, no, no. You misunderstand, sir. Listen. Kind Captain Ivan Walton's information. Sing, hey, the kind commander that you are. About a certain intimate relation. Sing, hey, the merry maiden and the tar. The merry, 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 merry,
for my excellent too. Though foes make good company, of scarcely fit company, my daughter for you. Now hark at that tune. Though foes make good company, we're scarcely fit company, for lady like you. Proud officer, that haughty lip uncurled, vain man's with that supercilious sneer. For I have turtle of your matchless doll, a fat one to all.
astronaut. How came your captain so far to begin, sir? I trust you have been no cause for annoyance. Please, Your Honor. It, it was that size. You see, I'm only a topman, a mere foremast hand. Oh, don't be ashamed of that. Your position as a topman is a, a most exciting one. Well, Your Honor, love burns as brightly in the forecastle as it does on the quarter deck. And Josephine is the fairest bud that ever blossomed upon the tree of a poor man's wildest hopes. Oh, darling! She is the figurehead of my ship of life, the bright beacon that guides me into my port of happiness, the rarest, purest gem that ever sparkled on a poor but worthy village rusting ground. Very pretty! Very pretty! You are an insolent sailor! Your children this outrage! Seize him! Oh, pray don't! I shall teach this presumptuous mariner to discipline his affections. Who oh, have we such a thing as a dungeon on board? We, we have. They have. Then load him with chains and take him there at once.
childhood happy hours that Rafe is really the captain and that the captain is really Rafe. That is the idea I intended to convey. Officially. Well, it's very well you have conveyed it, Miss Buttercup. Aye, aye, Your Honour. <laughs> yes. Dear me. They must appear before me at once. Desire that extremely fine fellow to step forward. Corcoran, three paces to the front, march! If what? <laughs> I don't understand. If you please. What? Perfectly right. If you please. <sighs> if you please. Hello, sailor. <laughs> now you are an extremely fine fellow. Yes, Sir Joseph. And so it seems that you were Rafe, and that Rafe was you. So it seems you. Well, I need not tell you that after this change in your condition, a marriage with your daughter would be out of the question. Oh, don't say that. Love them as all ranks. Oh, well, yes, it does to a considerable extent. But not quite as much as all that, you know. <laughs> Here, take us, sir, and I'll be free to cut it. <laughs> oh, bliss! Oh, rapture! Oh, rapture! Oh, bliss! But now, sir, my want and sorry. What shall I do? For I cannot live alone. <laughs> Fear nothing. For while I live, I'll not. I'll soothe and comfort to your declining days. Um, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> but indeed I'd rather. Hey. Very well then. <laughs> Tomorrow morn our vows shall all be plighted. Three loving pairs, the same day united. <laughs>
out of the sea. And when I marry thee, I'll be true to the devotion of my love in love. And goodbye to your sister, any cousins and your aunts, especially your cousins who you reckon on my brother. And goodbye to your sister, any cousins and your aunts, especially your cousins who you reckon on my brother.